What's up guys, I'm back and this is a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. It runs TouchWiz over the Android operating system. This is how the notification panel with toggles look. This is how the settings menu looks. This is how the dialer looks. And this is how the home screen looks. Now this is a Nexus 5. It runs pure Android. Let's compare it to what we saw just now. This is the notification panel with toggles. This is the settings menu. This is the dialer. And finally, this is the home screen. Much different, isn't it? Depending on personal preference, some of you might actually prefer the bright colors and cartoonish icons of Torturers, but personally, along with most other tech fans, I prefer the look of pure Android. It's just so much cleaner, simple, and much more aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. Now I got this S6 Edge Plus as a review unit from Samsung, and I thought I could put up with Torturers for at least a one week period, but within 10 minutes of use, I just couldn't take it anymore, it just feels like a toy. It's time to change that, and if you want to make your Galaxy S6, S6 Edge or S6 Edge Plus look more clean and resemble pure Android, just keep watching this video. The first thing you need to do is head over to Settings and look for Themes. Hit the Theme Store button at the bottom and look for a theme called Android 6.0. Download this theme and hit Apply once it's finished. Now let's see how different it is. This is the notification panel with toggles, this is the settings menu, this is the dialer, and finally this is the home screen. Quite a drastic difference in terms of cartoonish colors and it looks a lot more mature as you can see. It much more resembles the simple, clean look of pure Android. If this is good enough for you, that's fine, but it isn't for me. So if you want to go even further, continue watching. The next step is to head to the Google Play Store. Here you have two options. You can either download the Google Now Launcher or Nova Launcher. The difference being, the Google Now Launcher will give you the exact Nexus home screen experience, but it won't fix those annoying icons. Nova Launcher, on the other hand, will give you basically endless customizability, including swipe animations, custom grid sizes, custom app draw backgrounds, icon packs, like I said, basically endless. If you aren't much of a custom head, you should be good with the Google Now Launcher, but I'll go with Nova Launcher. If you can afford it, I highly recommend Nova Launcher Prime, as it will give you all the gesture controls and everything, and it's basically the first thing I install on any Android device I own. Once your launcher of choice is installed, hit the home button and choose the downloaded launcher and set it as the default. From here, you can customize your home screen widgets and dock icons however you like. But since I'm using Nova Launcher, I'll show you my simplistic setup. But before that, the first thing you should do is head into look and feel under the Nova Launcher settings and choose the lollipop icon pack. So as for my setup, I have the stock clock widget here, a folder with most of my used social networks and apps. These frequently use apps here on the dock, and although Nova Launcher supports swipeable docks, I just use one page. As for my Nova settings, in app and widget drawers, I have the card background turned on, and I opted for the black card background as opposed to the stock white with 50% transparency. You'll notice here you can change the transition animations as well, but I just left it as is. Under look and feel, I have the lollipop icon pack like I mentioned before, and everything else I just left untouched until I get bored again. As for gestures, my most used ones are a swipe up to open the app drawer, swipe down to expand the notification shade, double tap to open settings, swipe up with two fingers to open Nova Launcher settings, and a swipe down with two fingers to toggle the dock for when I just want a more immersive experience. Now the final thing to do is find a wallpaper that matches your style and you're good to go. Now your touchless device should no longer be annoying as it was out of the box and it's now much easier on the eyes and you can feel proud to know that you actually spent time and effort getting your device to look exactly the way it is right now. Enjoy your new experience. So that's been it. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.